Hey guys, welcome to another video of GitHub. This will be a continuation of our last video on branches in GitHub. So if you haven't watched my previous video about GitHub branch, please watch that first. You know, because I explained the concept behind the branches in that video. So you need to watch that first to get, you know, better understanding. I'll keep the video link in the description as well as in the i button. So please watch that first and come to this. So let's directly jump into the demo. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in this repository right now, you know, the one which we forked previously, DevNet. So uh, in this repo, uh, if you see, right, once you once you enter into a repo, in the left side, you can see a drop down list. This is our list of branches, actually. If you click this, you can see we have a master branch, which is default. As I said earlier in my previous video, this is our default branch. So you can see our default master branch and you can see few other branch as well. Right. Then right now we are in the master branch. Right. You see here we are in the master branch. We can see uh, files like folders, files, everything here. Now, if you want to move to some other branch, what you can do? Just click on the this one, you no know, branch name. So now you are into different branch. Now you are into Ansible Spark branch. Right. That's how you can move through the different branch. You can move from one branch to another one in this way. Now, if you want to create a new branch, right? If you want to create a new branch, it's very simple. As we, you know, as you written here, you can just uh, uh, write the name. You can just type the name of the branch here. For example, let's create a new branch called dev. Right. When I when I type right, when I type dev, since there is no branch called dev right now, we are here getting an option called create branch dev from master. You see from master. That means we will get copy of all the files which is currently in the master to a new branch. So when I click this, now we will be into the dev right now. We are we got our new branch called dev and we are in the dev branch and dev branch have all the folders and files which master had. Right. And if you make any changes here, if you made any changes into any of the folder or files or we do anything, we delete something, we, we did any mess that not going to affect the master branch. So these both are a completely different entity or, or a container as, as we discussed in previous video. So whatever change we do in the dev, it won't affect the master. So now, now if you type, if you type dev, you will get an option to go to that branch previously when because there is no branch as a dev we got an option to create it now we have a branch called dev so when we type we will get an option to go to that branch so that's how we can create a branch and we can switch between branch now let's see how we can create a branch in git bash right let's go to git bash now right now i will go to uh, cd okay yes now i am in uh my you know uh, devnet repository here in the it, it's a local repository and i am in uh, git bash now to create a branch using a cli command or in the git bash we have a command called git branch and the branch name so we'll call as a dev git branch dev so now uh, what happened a branch got created to move from our master to newly created branch dev we have a command git checkout dev right git checkout and the branch name this command will move uh, you know we will, we will be using to move to this particular branch so now you can see here you know this particular here which were mentioned in the inside a parenthesis indicated the branch name so we were we were in the branch called master and we moved to the branch dev using this command git checkout and the branch name so now we are in the dev if you check we will have all the file and folders which master will have so if you want to move back to the master you can use the command git checkout and master so now you're back into the master so that's how you can move you know from uh, one branch to another using the command git checkout so two commands we have seen here first one is git branch and the branch name to create a branch and to move from one branch to another branch you can use the command git checkout and the branch name Right now, let's move to the our newly created branch. Git checkout dev. Okay, so now we are in the dev branch. Right, we are in the dev branch, and let's make some changes to one of the files. So I have okay, it's in D, 
and devnet okay you know you note here the important thing to note here we are in the dev branch right now okay so i'm coming here uh lod cloud okay this is the file which we were making changes from the beginning so now what i will do i will uh delete uh, maybe i will delete this part right let me delete all these things okay i just deleted it and save right now the file hello cloud in the dev branch will have only uh, you know this part it will not have a dev right we are not yet, not yet completed the you know uh, process of uh, making changes into git repo as we discussed earlier now if you see git status right now we, where we made the change we made the changes in the working directory right this was we discussed in the previous video uh, about the working directory and staging area if you haven't watched that video please watch that one so that you will be getting better understanding on working directory and staging area so right now we made the changes on this particular file and this file in the working directory and now we need to move this file into the staging area right so right now the file in the staging area then once the file got in the staging area now we will commit the file right git commit minus m and that's a commit message uh, this is branch demo okay that's a commit message again there is a, uh, a video uh, on the commit as well you can watch that if you if you don't know what is commit okay so now we have committed it if you check git status you cannot see it's a clean directory we don't have anything in the working directory so now whatever change we made right we made in the dev branch right let's move back into the uh, master branch and see how the files looks now right now we are in the master if we open the directory now hello cloud see this these two lines we have deleted in the dev branch but that didn't affect the file in the master branch as I said earlier these two are a different entity whatever change we makes in the dev or a branch it won't affect the master or another branch right so that means if you miss something if you mess something if you delete something if you made some missed changes mistakenly that not gonna affect the other branches so that will always save us to messing all the files messing the, the important files right that's that's why we need branches that's the purpose of branch so I hope I hope uh, you, you know, all the confusions about uh, you know branches got clarified with this demo or with this example if you have any question you know feel free to ask in the comment section i will definitely you know uh, respond to that so uh, that's all about today's video uh, we will discuss about pull request tomorrow that is how to merge between so right now we we made some changes in the dev right and that changes is not uh, you know is, is not applied in the master branch now if we if we get into conclusion that whatever change we made in dev is a correct is a authentic that we have to make the changes the same changes into master as well so instead of making the changes manually we have a way to merge the change from dev to master using the pull request we will discuss about pull request in the next video so stay tuned for that thank you very much for watching please do like support we'll see you next video